We are talking about energy with Dominique Skrobac, CEO at C4E, I mean chain for energy. What is C4E and how important is in the cryptocurrency and blockchain field? Okay, uh, Chain for Energy is a project that is focused on the um, uh, white uh, energy transformation aspects. Uh, energy is transformed all around the world and especially in Europe. Uh, we have uh, three mega trends, however. It's uh, decarbonization, decentralization and digitalization. So Chain for Energy is addressing the, the last part of it, digitalization. We are giving a tool to manage uh, decentralized and tropical um, deployment of the renewable energy sources uh, in the way to not to destroy the network. Where did you find the idea? Because I know that you are also a co-founder and you said to me before the interviews that uh, you uh, find the idea, you and your team. Explain more uh, details about it. Okay, um, we found the idea like two years ago. It was like we, we and my team, we have uh, a quite a history in telecommunication and we were witness of the uh, huge uh, revolution uh, in telecommunication in the 90s from uh, fixed to mobile, right? And uh, this is what we have seen that was uh, huge interest and a lot of funds. We have a very similar situation right now in the uh, in energy market. Energy is like you plug into the muscle of hierarchy. It's, uh, it's in the bottom. It's on the level like water, food, warmth, settler. So to get water in this time and to, to, to warm your apartment, you have to have energy. And actually, uh, when you take into account this green deal in the European Union, this energy has to be pure, has to be green. But this requires specific software, as, as I mentioned. This is what we are focused on. And when we are building this software, we are using the top-notch technology like, like ML, like, uh, like blockchain. How many companies uh, use uh, your softwares? Currently, it's okay. We are startup, so we have we have one company that is partially using part part of, of our product that of like have a first version, I would say, and, um, and yeah, it is deployed over there and, and supporting customer commercially right now. It's Canon uh, Canon Energy. This is the name of the company. Um, what things uh, make the difference uh, between uh, your company and others' company in this field? What makes you different? Uh, in the field of energy or in the field of blockchain? <laughs> because we are combining... Both of them. Yeah, this is the first difference. Because we are combining two uh, emerging te sectors. It's like uh, blockchain evolution and the energy transformation there is no many projects that are doing it we are attacking the real world use case and trying to to solve the issue of the huge industry and bring all the users to the blockchain uh, increasing the adaptation of the blockchain this is like the the, the biggest problem right now from the perspective of the cryptocurrencies to bring these people into the into, into the blockchain world because it creates volume, uh, volume and uh, increase uh, the, the usage of this technology. And we are using a blockchain for, for various features like uh, energy trading, peer-to-peer -peer energy trading, like uh, uh, energy tracking, like ESG ratings data. This is just an example. But to do this, we are using uh, layer one blockchain, where is the secured by the uh, proof of stake mechanism. So we are before the listing, uh, and the token that sec will secure the network will be listed and will be available on the exchange. This company is at uh, its beginning. So. What uh, what was the most difficult part in uh, in create this company and uh, made it uh, international? Because uh, you said that it's uh, international right now. 
yeah, like like our partners are, are companies that basically are not working only in Poland, but also working in multiple countries. Like like Unimot is working in 50 countries. We have presence even Kennel Group. Uh, this is quite a big company. Uh, I think that they have revenue on the level of half million uh, euro yearly. So, uh, and they also are present in 11 countries. Um, but the most exp uh, uh, difficult was uh, basically legalization uh, the, from the perspective of blockchain because we are tackling very critical uh, business case and these companies are very sensitive from the perspective of legalization. That's why we have chosen uh, Switzerland. Switzerland have a very nice regulation, clear, and everything is, is known. So the legation was a huge challenge and the subject was also the challenge because it's not easy, it's quite complex. What are the future uh, plans and strategy for um, uh, for uh, C for E? Let's go to market, go to market, and go to market. Basically, we, are, we have quite strong tech team that we are also producing for for next features. But the go to market is our main focus right now. Before the li after the listing, of course. What piece of advice do you have for uh, people who want to start uh, a company in this field because uh, you, um, uh, you pass these steps and you have uh, experience? So for um, who is at, uh, at the beginning? Well, at the beginning is idea. You have to basically define what you want to do and uh, try to find product fit to the market. Uh, so. So this is the first thing. The other thing is uh, resources and uh, possibility to deliver the product. Of course, it depends what you want to do. Like we are, we are very practical and we very focus on the delivery. So, so this is important for us to be able to do it from the beginning. This is the most important thing and be uh, very. Yeah, when you decided something, you have to do it. Thank you so much, uh, Dominic, for uh, your uh, your uh, insights. They're very nice. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you for the invitation.